everyone. I've just had a conversation with one of the most wonderful people I have ever spoken to and I am going to be absolutely real about that. This person is an absolute sweetheart. They they have such a wonderful way about them and just the overwhelming support that TIs have shown me. Like, it's it's kind of amazing. And it just makes me realise that this whole gang stalking thing is so much bigger than me, so much bigger than me and my fucking ego. I mean, first of all, there's my family in the mix. And the fact that my family's lives were threatened unless... I stay in this place. And it's not that I didn't care. It's that my family were already being hurt and probably being murdered long before, like, those threats were even made anyway, and it didn't matter what I did. They were still being threatened and all the rest of it. It it doesn't it really doesn't matter like really doesn't matter. I mean it does matter like I do care but it's just like because my family had been threatened, you know, there's so much has happened to them before. Um it really, the threat seemed really, really petty to me. Um, but it doesn't mean that they don't matter. And given that it's not just me that has been affected, I mean, of course it wouldn't be just me. It's a fucking global program. But seeing how much everybody else has suffered, it's really made me realise, like, hey, this is not, this is so much bigger than me. I have a lot of options with regards to what I'm going to do about my housing situation. I have more options than I thought. Um, I'm sorry, what is wrong with my eyes, bro? I have more options than I thought. And, you know, I... I really want to thank my fellow TIs for supporting me. I mean, I don't always agree with everything that you guys say, but the fact that you you guys show up and you try to support me in the best way you can find to do it, it means a lot to me. When it comes to the housing, I actually have more options than you guys might realise or you guys might know. I actually have more options than you might think. And... I think the chief reason behind that is because of everything that's happened to me in the past and all the evidence that I have on my side. I do have a lot more options than people realise. But it still doesn't make this situation any less scary. I'm about to turn my back on stability and security once again because I'm not prepared to put up with being mistreated. So it's a scary thing. And... Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a scary situation, you know. And I know I laugh it off. It's not because I'm laughing off the hurt or anything, it's just because like these perps are so fucking stupid, bro. Like just vacuous, like narcissistic voids of just Endless noise with nothing substantive to fucking back it up. I'm just sick of it, you know. But I do appreciate the support of all of you. I really, really do. Please understand that. And I understand that this whole gang stalking thing is way bigger than me. I understand that there are some of you who are homeless who don't have a choice. So for me to choose to do this, it must seem like madness to like to some of you. And I get it. 
I really do get it because there are so many of you, especially across the pond in America, who don't have a who don't have that choice. You've been running to the ground financially as a result of this trafficking. You don't have that choice. So seeing somebody like me, like seemingly choosing to struggle, choosing to like what, like it did, like to any rational, normal person. For me to choose, actively choose to struggle more because I'm not going to put up with anybody's bullshit. It just seems like, it seems like madness. And I get it. I really do get it. As a TI, I really do get it. And especially when you get the fact that my family has been threatened and like, (laughs) I'm not being funny, but like getting an online threat against my family for me choosing not to stay in this flat is like, what? It especially seems like that, like my choice is crazy in light of that, but they've been hurting my family anyway. And they're going to continue to, it doesn't matter what I do. They're going to continue to do it. It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter if I got upset enough for everybody's satisfaction. It wouldn't matter if I was docile, like none of that would matter because they would still come after my family. They've been coming after my family. So, you know, but I do appreciate the support the TIs have given me. I do appreciate it. Please don't get it twisted. I don't know. I don't understand why they care about the N-word so much. I don't, I really don't get it. You literally, like you've literally been made, like, I don't understand this family at all because they've literally been made aware that all of this is real. This whole gang stalking thing is real. They've been made aware that it's real because somebody literally threatened my fucking family. Like, they know all of this is real. They know I haven't made it up. They know that there are other people who have been burned. They know that there are other people who have been murdered. They know I'm not just making it up. And yet the only thing they're thinking about is a racial slur? Like, who the fuck cares, bro? I was one of those people who said... I said to them, and I I get this. I I do get this, right? I was the one who said, if you want to say the N-word, just say the N-word. I was the one who said that. It was me who said that. I said, if you want to say it, say it. Just accept the consequences. I did say that. And that's exactly what these people are doing. They're saying the N-word. And basically, they're playing it off like they don't care how it makes them look. Like they don't care. Like as long as it upsets me, as long as it gets to me, they don't care. And it's okay. I'm used to that. That's what perps do, right? But it really says a lot about their character when even with you know presented with the facts and information i'm not just making this shit up like i've i've posted evidence online so even with the fact and information that they've been given the n word is literally more important to them than somebody else's life <laughs> i mean i mean like But what does it say that, like, you're still feeling sorry for yourself? This is a bed that you made and you're still trying to cast me as the villain. And as something as pathetic as race as well. Oh, Lord. And by the way, I'm not calling myself the N-word anymore. And the reason why I'm not going to do it is not because, like, I personally care what anybody thinks of my fucking race anymore. I've heard that word so much that it's just meaningless at this point but I understand that other black people are traumatized and I'm not trying to put up I'm not trying to put other black people through that or other people through that I you know there are a lot of people who love me and support me and a lot of black people who are traumatized by the racism and microaggressions that we still go through so I'm not about to I'm not about to disrespect the people I love by disrespecting myself I'm not going to do it anymore I'm not going to disrespect the people I love by disrespecting myself and saying that they're wrong to support me. I'm not going to. 
um, yeah, I'm not going to disrespect people who love me by calling myself out just because other people are doing it. Nor am I going to put other black people through that pain by calling myself the N word or like trying to play that off as a joke if other black people are not comfortable with it. It's not about me, but I'm trying to see things from other people's point of view. There are people who love you and put their faith in you and put their trust in you. Why are you going to disparage and disrespect yourself and also speak that evil into their lives too? I ain't doing it. Do you understand? So they can call me what they want. It's all right. I don't have to call myself that just to insulate my own feelings or just to be like, oh, you know, show I don't care. I don't like, I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. Like, and at the end of the day, life slur. Hang on. Hold on a second. No. Human trafficking slur. Human trafficking. Hold up. Hold up. Let me show you the order of priority that it should go in. Human trafficking, slur. Human trafficking, slur. It's pathetic. Like, like listen to this shit. It's pathetic. It's really pathetic. This shit is pathetic as hell. I don't know what's going on. Like, the, m the more that I think about it is the more that I realised that I put too much stock in what people thought of me. I really did. I, I wanted to deny it, but I, I put too much stock in what people thought. People don't fucking think. It's pathetic. It's really pathetic, bro. It's It's so pathetic. I still, I'm still going to leave. Don't get, don't get it twisted, but I'm not leaving because of them. I'm leaving because my given word is law. If I say I'm going to do something, then I have to do it. Even if I feel like I'm going to regret it. It's, you know, it's really, really simple. If I say I'm going to do something, I have to do it. There's a hidden karmic consequence when you say you're going to do something and you don't fucking do it that's what nobody tells you yeah but again my fellow TRs I want to thank you so much you are a like a decent set of people and yeah take care I love you guys bye bye